Hello everyone. Today we are going to do the Davis and Murray theory of social certification. Let's just have a quick recap of what is social certification before uh, uh, explaining the Davis and Murray theory. Social certification refers to a society categorization of its people into rankings of socio-economic layers based on factors like wealth, income, race, education and power. Simple words, it is the division of society into different stratas. In sociology, the functional perspective examines how society operates. Further, the function of stratification is to divide work among people according to their capacities, efforts, talents, also to reward them with money, prestige, status, power to maintain the continuity of the system of society. In 1945, Kingsley Davis and Wilbert Murray published the Davis and Murray thesis which argued that greater the functional importance of the role, greater must be the reward. For example, the job of a soldier requires more skill and training level than a grocery shop cashier. Without incentive in terms of money, in terms of benefits, in terms of social status and recognition, recognition associated with the job, people may not be willing to fight at the border of the country. So the social importance of a job is very uh, significant, is play very significant role in order to attract people towards the job. Davis and Morris stated, in most of the cases, the degree of skill required for the job determines that job's importance. The important derivations from Davis and Murray theories are as follows. Different needs, purposes requires different jobs to be done in the society. Different jobs have different social values, recognition and important importance associated with them. All the job requires different level of training and skill. Higher the level of skill and training required by the job, the higher incentives needs to be uh, paid in order to attract people to do the most difficult jobs. Allocation of right people for the right job with due benefits not only increases efficiency in the society, but also maintains order in the society. Further, social inequalities are functional for the society as far as Davis and Moore are concerned. He further explained, people always feel motivated to occupy better and better places and position in the society if their efforts are, you know, duly uh, recognized with the incentives in terms of power, in terms of prestige, in terms of money. Like, for example, uh, you can really observe around that uh, the aspiring candidates for IS, they, you know, put uh, almost a decade of their life to secure that position. Why they put their effort to uh, secure that position? Because of the social prestige, because of the power, because of the recognition associated with the, uh, with the job. Further, uh, it also maintains that only those people who are hardworking, meritorious, consistently putting efforts are uh, securing that, those positions. So as far as the interpretation of Davis and Murray are concerned, we came to know that social inequalities are functional for the society. They increase efficiency in the society. They attract the innovative they attract the hard-working people to do the right jobs for the society. This helps in growth and development of the society. Right allocation of the resources also helps the society to the uh, uh, optimum use of the resources of the society. It will bring contentment among the masses because people are allocated uh, jobs according to their capacities and talents. So, but... Malin Tuman criticized the theory on two bases. First, the theory does not explain inequalities based on gender and race. The social uh, inequalities 
may prevent meritorious people from doing important job roles like if a boy belonging to a underprivileged section irrespective of his talent and hard work may not able to pursue the mbbs course which is very highly paid uh, highly paid uh, 